several people I've I know have said that blood is congealed light. I think there's one verse that comes close to that, so I don't actually know the theology on that, but the point, to whatever level that's true, is that Jesus' blood, Jesus' blood, is congealed light. As we receive it, and yes, physically, but even more really in the spirit realm, this blood begins to unpack. It begins to open up, to blossom, to flower inside of us, and that light factor begins to be released in us. And I just happen to think that's what happened to Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration and what is waiting for all of us waiting to be experienced by all of us is that the fullness of Christ, the scripture actually says, till Christ be formed in you. So in other words, there is a a filling up, filled up to all the fullness of God, that's sufficient. So there's a filling up that's taking place in somewhere along the line, and I don't think it's very far away. As I say, we're going to open our eyes and this congealed blood will unpack, blossom, burst into full-blown light. And then, arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. <laughs> careful or get excited. You got to be real careful when you get around this stuff. You get excited. <laughs> Oh, you guys are great. We got to call it quits today, but uh, super good. Super good. Again, I had a set of notes. I think we went down a better route today. So <laughs> remember, <clears throat> we follow Rama. Do what there's life on it. I, I'll, several times I looked at my notes today. I said, Lord, is this a segue? No follow life so uh who knows we may get to the notes we might not <laughs> but uh, you guys are the best the lord bless you and may your uh experience by the time we meet next time you'll have a testimony of you opened your eyes one day and you were glowing like a light bulb <laughs> love to you all blessings